this week we're gonna get a load of these bricks over to the job and these are just happen to be uh, a pallet of bricks that I've had uh, probably about I don't know, maybe 400 bricks that I've had left over from uh, jobs I've done on other people's houses so handy so I've got a move all these over save me a few quid I and mean, then uh, a pallet of these ready to go I means you can get those corners already those are the bricks looking nice that's how many we got so i'm going to put all these on the truck and load them all out by the end of the week we'll have to dig over here and we can dig all that sand out and get that going as well so that's the plan for the week There we go, that's it. That's all the bricks done. Good thing about all that is, I've got to do the same at the other end. <laughs> so now we have all the bricks around the front and the back of the truck. I'm gonna use this to move them all around the job. This is called a hod. You load them all up in here, on your shoulder, walk around the job, put them down where you want them. And that's one pile of bricks. There's 80 bricks in that stack. And it's stack on each corner, one there, one over there, one at every corner. And then I'll start thinking about putting some in the middle. <sighs> so I'll catch you when I've done that. Well, that's that done. My shoulder's absolutely killing me. Emptied the truck with all the, all the bricks. One stack there, another stack. Each one's got 80 bricks in it, another stack. There's only little ones here. I'll run out towards the end. Another one there, a few leftovers, one there. Big stack, half a stack, because there's not much room over there. Big stack over there. So that's all the bricks set up, ready for tomorrow. I'll do me for the day, let my shoulder rest a little bit, get a few bricks laid tomorrow. A little bit of a late start today, it was uh, raining this morning, don't know if you can see. You can tell just how wet it is, it's drying out now, but I made one of the biggest mistakes any builder or bricklayer particularly could ever make. I did not cover my bricks so they're all wet. If Every single stack is wet now with wet bricks if you lay wet bricks there's a chance you could get what's called efflorescence where the salt in the mortar and the bricks comes out and it looks like white crystals on the brickwork i'll have to try and hunt and find a uh, an example to show you don't want to lay wet bricks so i'll let them dry a bit and cover them up but in the meantime i'm going to do the block work down the front this section all through here i'm going to get done i'll leave this section here because I want to get the digger in and out here so I can dig out all of that sand. I'll do that today while the bricks dry out. It's gonna take a little bit longer because I've got to get a few blocks in here. I'm not using that hod on my shoulder. Man, it's, it's like, it feels like there's a big lump there. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm no hoddy. Hats off to your hoddies out there. Labourers out there, you do a good job. So, I'll get the block work done. That's the plan, let's go.
Morning all, Wednesday now. Grey skies. My weather app says that we're looking at sort of eight percent chance of rain pretty much all day. I'm gonna try and get some stuff as much today done as I can. Last night I was laying in bed and a thought ran through my head, something I've completely forgotten to do. Because I've got block and beam floor going in, you need air ventilation to go under it. So what you do is you put in, uh, they look like periscopes, they're uh, periscope air vents. Now to do that, I need to break out one block every two meters because it will sit in the cavity and then go through the bottom and then this the top one that comes up will come through the wall at the front. I'm probably not explaining it very well but I will explain it and show you when I put them in. To let the air circulate below the block and beam floor because there'll be a void under there. You don't want to get stagnant, you don't want to get damp and horrible. Well it's going to be damp but you don't want it to go all mouldy or anything like that. You need airflow to keep it, keep it good. That's the plan today. Make do with the time that we've got and uh, get on with it. There we go, the finished product. One telescopic vent installed. I'm just about seeing there that vent. Let me uh, shine a light on it so you can see. There you go, you can see the vent. A little bit of muck in there needs pulling out. But apart from that, that is the finished product. And then, as you can see, all round the job. Loads of them. Every two meters, minimum. These ones are actually a little bit closer. Every 1.6. There you go, that's from that side, that's the brick on the inside, the things I forgot to do. On that side, you get another um, vent that goes in there that looks like it's the same colour as the bricks with little holes in. I'll show you when I get them, but I haven't got them yet. So that's that. Well, there we go, it's Friday. Brings us to the end of another week, another episode. As you can see, we've got rid of all of this dirt, this, this sand, sorry. We've got all the air bricks in. And this side of the build, they're all in here. Built in with engineering bricks. Engineering bricks provide um, a lot more strength, or a lot stronger than normal bricks. They are not as porous, so they repel water rather than absorb it. They, they don't absorb as much more water in any way. So they're all in, telescopic. Let me show you one, because I didn't have them last time. Let me show you. This is what a telescopic vent looks like. You got this side is down there. That's that bit in there. And then this side goes outside of the wall, as you can see here. It's like that. And you get little uh, air bricks that slip in. Uh, you get little air bricks that slip in the front there, and they, they match the brickwork on the outside and they go up and down so we should be good there. Cleared all this sand, that sand's gonna go next week. Got a good amount done, but at the end of next week we'll be ready for the block and beam floor. Fingers crossed. Right, so I'll leave you guys there. That'll be it for one episode. That's the job. I am Rodian and I'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>